Hi, and welcome to episode two of A Moment of Peace with me, Brad Wolf. Now, there's a lot going on in the world right now. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. In times like these, it's even more important to get a good night's sleep, but it's also at times like this that we can need a little extra assistance in drifting off at night. So today, I'm going to walk you through a visualization exercise that's really helpful for drifting off to sleep. I'd like to thank mindfulnessexercises.com for the relaxing script I'm using today. So, making yourself comfortable. Now you'll probably want to be lying down on your bed or on the floor or wherever you can be most comfortable. Allowing your eyes to close and your body to just melt into the floor or the bed. And allowing your attention to gently come into the body and into the flowing of the breath. Experiencing the sense of the body as a whole, simply lying here, extended and breathing. When you feel ready, in your mind's eye, picture the image of a lake. Perhaps a lake that you know well, or one that you've seen in a painting, or an imaginary lake for that matter. Just seeing if you can bring that image into vivid focus in your mind's eye. Noticing how it's an extended body of water, held in a depression in the Earth's surface. Perhaps it's fed by a spring or a stream. If you watch and observe the lake carefully, you'll notice that it's always changing. And yet, it's also always itself. It changes as the sun moves across the sky. The light is reflected off the water in different ways. It changes depending on the weather. Sometimes, on very calm days, The surface might be like glass and reflect virtually everything with great precision that comes by. Clouds, birds, the trees that might surround the lake, the sun as it makes its journey across the sky, and for that matter, the moon and stars at night. So there are times when the lake is extremely reflective and contains, in a certain way, everything that comes by or over it. In different periods of time, the surface might be choppy or roiled, and sometimes quite pronounced in the waves, in which times the light might sparkle off the waves in different ways. Of course, the lake changes through the seasons. In winter, depending on its location, It might actually be frozen over, at least on the surface. Through day and night, and through the seasons, and through the years, the lake is constantly changing, and always is its own essential nature. But let's see if we can't invite the lake to become coextensive with our own body lying here so that our body becomes the lake itself. We can also feel held and embraced as we lie here. Aware of the many ways in which our own mind is like the surface of the lake, sometimes highly reflective, sometimes choppy, getting in touch with the sense of the entirety of the lake. The full body of water, not only in the surface, but down below. As we lie here, just experiencing the fullness of our own being, so that even at times when our mind is choppy and upset, or reactive, or dealing with difficult things, we can drop down beneath the surface of our own mind's waves and find a stillness, 
and a calmness that's always here and always available to us with each moment, with each breath. And certainly, when we come to lie down in this way, lying here under the canopy of our fast awareness, experiencing the moment-to-moment -moment changes in the body and sensations, thoughts, feelings, impulses, sounds, and all the while, lake-like, just simply lying here, watching the play of the weather, of the mind and body, allowing the awareness to hold it all, moment by moment, breath by breath, in our own fullness, in our own completeness, a moment of peace.